the camera guy, he wants, you know, some wisdom. And I said, you know what? The days behind me are more than the days before me. I'm 61. I don't plan on living to 122. Hey guys, welcome to the Body and Soul Shop. Today we're going to give you an update of what's been going on in the shop. Not a lot of bling to show you yet, but we're making progress. A lot of times it's stuff that you don't see uh, that we don't really want to put on camera. It's just, it'd be boring for you, it'd be too much. Anyway, we're just going to give you an update, show you where we're at with this thing and the custom truck. It's about ready to paint. So inside we've got the sound deadener, we've got the air conditioning box in. Uh, the lines are ran, everything's sealed up and ready to go. We've got, we've got to charge it yet. So we still got to build the doors, still got to put you know, door glass, vent windows, stuff like that. We have all that stuff new, ready to go. Uh, the next thing we'll tack on this will be the hood, get the hood finished out, uh, and get the bed done. So we're probably two weeks out between the hood and the bed. Uh, on both both pieces and then it'll really fly together quick so we're, we're on the downhill stretch of it I'm really happy with the way it's coming out it's gonna be a good looking truck okay so when we start doing wiring we just generally run the wires to the place the direction we're going with them out front to the front fenders headlights back to the back of the bed stuff like that uh, we group out the ignition wires, uh, dash wires, um, steering column wires for the turn signals, all that stuff. So it's just kind of laying here right now. We've just got to sort all that out and put it together. So right now it looks like a rat's nest, but it'll be nice and tight when it's done. And we're rolling. So a lot of guys want their truck slammed on the ground. That's not what this guy wanted. He wanted it just a little bit lower. So we've got it set just a little bit under what the stock ride height was. But this thing ought to ride and drive like a million bucks, man. Okay, back to our 60 style custom truck. We've got it all in the final prime, final block. It's been wet sanded, we're ready to go on the body. Uh, I went ahead and sprayed the inside of the bed. I'm gonna fine line tape it off. It's just too much to try to spray at one time to keep it all wet. So that's the reason I did that. So you see a little bit of wet sand residue on the blue in there and stuff. But um, we'll get all that cleaned up. And next time you see this, it'll be blue. So yesterday was kind of a long day for me. I started somewhere around 8.30 and finished about 3.30, 4 o'clock uh, painting this thing. Obviously paint first coat of sealer, three coats of base, three coats of clear. I had to crawl underneath the body and get up inside the bed to go to paint the back of the cab and stuff. So there was a lot of, a lot of commotion, a lot of uh, groaning getting in and out of this thing, but we got her done. Clear it, wet sand it, and buff it. So this is the base of what we're starting with. So uh, on the very last coat of clear, I got a little little run right here. So I'm going to give you a little education uh, or teach you how to take a run out. So here's how you get a run out of the clear. Uh, you just take a fresh razor blade and get right on top of that and just start scraping. That's too fresh. I just sprayed this yesterday. I wasn't sure if it's dry enough, really, you know, through and through. It's dry to the touch, obviously. It's not fingerprinting or anything, but um, it's a little too green yet, a little too fresh um, to get it out. So I'm gonna wait a day or two to where it thoroughly dries all the way through, and then I'll, I'll show you how to scrape these out. Um, but it's, it's a pretty simple process. Um, you can see right there I'm getting some of it, but I'm gonna leave it, leave it cure a little bit, because if it's too fresh, I've actually seen um, one of the heavier run parts pull out, and then you'll have a pit, so you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna let it, I'm going to let it set just another day and uh, we'll show you how to get that out. So one of the things I'm going to do is put a scallop down through this inside of the fin. I'm not going to do it on the outside, but I'm going to do it on the inside. Um, and I'm going to probably put three red fin stripes back here on the end of just to kind of give it a little accent and tie into the V8 that's on the front of the grill shell. So that's our plan. Also, we're going to do the coves. I'll show you what we're planning on doing in the cove. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this cove with white and gold uh, gold pinstripe around it. Originally I was thinking about doing a scallop on the outside, but the more I look at it, I'm gonna just highlight the, the uh, actual lines here. So I think that'll really make it pop. Okay guys, so I've got a small dilemma and I want your input, okay? This is Studebaker 
uh, quarter panel chrome. I had extras left over and they're all polished out and ready to go. And so one day it just kind of hit me. I thought, you know what? I wonder how that would fit on top of this thing and would it look right? Now you got to keep in mind, we got a lot of chrome on this thing, the, all the exhaust and everything, the chrome rims, white walls, all that. So um, I'm thinking about putting this on there. Just going to ask your opinion. I don't know which way we're going to go yet, but it fits. I could not believe how nice it fits on top of this uh, fin. So throw in your comments. Let, let's see what you think. And, and uh, I'm not saying we're going to do whatever the, the majority is, but it's, uh, it's a thought anyway. I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. Does it look better with it or without it? Okay, so this is another piece that's going to determine a little bit on the top molding. Uh, this is the factory original. I sent it out and had it re-chromed off that 59 Chrysler Windsor. I think it'll help tie everything in. I think that top molding just might be the, might be the ticket. And then it's got a nice chrome bezel around the tail light also. Okay, so we're finally turning the corner on our 60s custom truck. Uh, this next week I'm going to concentrate on the graphics, wet sanding, re-clearing, uh, and then rebuffing it. So it'll probably take me a week, week and a half to get all that stuff done. Uh, but we I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train I promise you but uh anyway so thank you so much for watching just hang with us and uh, you'll see a lot of progress on the 65 we're gonna we're over the hump with it too so we're on the downhill side of uh, two of them which is awesome I'm looking forward to uh, both of them being done and start on the next project which by the way is a 34 Ford 5 window coupe um, taking me back to my roots I love that stuff God bless